Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will review a technique of integration known as integration by substitution. Many integrals can be computed by means of change of variables, more commonly called U substitution. This substitution method amounts to applying the chain rule in a reverse. So in other words, to compute the integral of fx where x is equal to a function gx g prime of x dx we let u equal to gx and then du is equal to g prime of x dx so when we substitute this back into the integral, we get the integral of f u d u, which is equal to big F u, which is equal to big F g x, where f is the antiderivative of the function f. So let's illustrate this using an example. Let's compute the integral of 2x x squared minus 1 to the fourth dx by making a substitution. So we'll say u is equal to x squared minus 1 and du is then equal to 2x dx. So u, this is gx and this is g prime of x dx. Now this integral then becomes uh, the integral of x squared minus 1 to the fourth 2x dx which then we can su uh, use our substitute u substitution to get u to the fourth times or u to the fourth du. So integrating that, we get u to the fifth divided by 5 plus c, which putting back in our value for u, we get x squared minus 1 to the fifth divided by 5 plus c. So real simple process. All we do is pick a uh, function for g and uh, use the u substitution. So let's look at another example here. So let's say we want to integrate the function um, sine 2x cosine 2x dx. Now let's let u equal to sine 2x which means du would be 2 cosine 2x dx. So plugging this back into our uh, integral, we find that um, our integral now is 1 half sine 2x times 2 cosine 2x times dx, which uh, substituting u is equal to the integral of 1 half u du which integrates out to be 1 quarter u squared plus c. Plugging in back in our value for u here, our substitution, we find that it's 1 fourth sine of squared 2x plus c. So that's using uh, substitution once again. Now we can also uh, evaluate definite integrals using substitution. So let's let's run through a quick example of doing that. Let's say that we have the integral uh, from 0 to 2 of x e x squared dx. Now we let u we choose u to be uh, say that x squared 
that means du is going to be equal to 2x dx. Now plugging this back into the integral and making sure that it uh, remains equal to the original integral, we go 1 half e to the x squared times 2x dx. And uh, putting in our substitute, our y and our du, or sorry, our u and our du, we get the integral of 1 half e to the u du, which integrates to be 1 half eu plus c. Plugging back in our value of u, and we get 1 half e to the x squared plus c. Now all we need to do is determine uh, the definite integral by adding uh, by uh, integrating it or uh, doing the definite integral from 0 to 1 or 0 to 2. And plugging in those values we find that it's 1 half e to the uh, 2 squared minus 1 half e to the 0 squared which is equal to 1 half e to the 4th minus 1. And that's it. Uh, so that's a real quick recap of integration by substitution. If you guys have any questions, hop on over to engineerintrainingexam.com and shoot me an email or give me some feedback. Let me know how we're doing. Uh, here to help you guys, guide you in whatever direction that you need. So until next time, we'll be talking soon. Take care. Bye.